What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to our player ratings after Liverpool have beaten Norwich by five goals to two. The book are placed in the fifth round of the FA Cup where the winner of Watford and Southampton awaits. They drew 1-1 today. So the winner of that game and the replay will come to Anfield to take on Jurgen Klopp's tricky Reds. And look, we're going to do what we always do. Go through, giving you guys a chance to have your say in the comments. I'm going to give each player a rating out of 10. If you agree, let me know in the comments. If you disagree, of course, I'd like to know as well. Do drop a like on the video and most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're just over 200 subscribers away from an amazing tally of 240,000. So everyone really does matter. Loads to get through. So I'm going to move quickly and we'll start off with Mr. Alison Becker. I do normally start here by saying not much to do today, uh, not much to be critical of. I usually end up giving him a score of eight or something like that. But today I actually do have a few small critiques for Alisson. He wasn't set for Norwich's second goal and it was also Verge who didn't close down, but he was almost allowing the player to shoot Alisson by not being set. And it was a great strike and I don't want to take anything away from the goal, but I do feel Alisson could have and maybe should have done a little bit better there in his preparation for that strike. But I am being uber critical and like I've always said, I hold certain players to a really high standard and Alisson is one of those. So for that, we'll give Alisson today a score of 6 out of 10. Again, let me know if you think that's overly harsh or not. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. He's still the best goalkeeper in the world and I wouldn't change him for anybody. Moving on to Connor Bradley. He's my man of the match. He was ITV's man of the match. I dare say he's probably your man of the match. And the biggest compliment I can give to Connor Bradley is I didn't think there'd ever be a question of if we got anybody at the club that we can initially play it right back to let Trent go into midfield. Now, I believe that we do. Connor Bradley has more than grasped this opportunity. He got himself not one, but two assists today. And it was just an all-around, phenomenally swashbuckling, energy-filled, brilliant performance for a young man that I've got really high hopes for. And I hope that he can stay injury-free because his ability, his desire, his work rate, his personality is infectious as well. And I'm going to give him a massive score of 10 out of 10. Perfection for me, for Conor Bradley. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Next up, Ibrahim Kanade was replaced uh, late into the second half, or I should say a good way into the second half by Virgil van Dijk. Um, look, I'm a bit concerned that they're defending from set pieces and corners. I know we marks only. I don't like it because I don't feel it gives any accountability. I like players to have a man. If they lose some of the man scores, we know whose fault it is. Um, but from our corner today, between Kwanzaa and I can't remember who the other defender was, we just let the guy away and it was Gravenberg. Yeah, Kwanzaa and Gravenberg. Kwanzaa lost his man. Then Gravenberg was out-muscled by the Norwich player and we conceded and yeah, I just hope we sort that out. But look, Ibu is absolutely top-notch. We give him a score of seven, um, but we just need to cut out some of this silliness from set pieces. Moving on to Jarrell Kwanzaa now. A great again to see him. Thank you very much. My wife just brought me in a cup of coffee there, by the way. So I'm just saying thank you to her. Jarrell Kwanzaa has established himself as not just an option this season, but a real contender to start uh, alongside either Virgil van Dijk or Ibrahim Kanade. So great season for Jarrell. And today, going to give him a score of 7 out of 10. Again, felt he could have done better keeping track of his man from the corner. But... You know, sometimes you snooze, you lose. And in football at the highest level, these things cost. Today it costs us a goal, but not the game. Moving on now to uh, Joe Gomez. He wanted it, didn't he? He wanted the goal. He was lining up a couple of strikes. He came very close in the first half, forced the Norwich keeper into a save, touch it around the post. Is that his opportunity to score gone? I don't know. Maybe he'll get more opportunities between now and the end of the season. But... Mr. Eddie Robertson is back in the match day squads now, so you would have to assume he will start taking up his role at left back. Big compliment, big love to Joe Gomez. Another solid display from him. He's just been a lifesaver for us this season with his versatility. So Joe gets a score today of 8 out of 10. And again, a big thank you from all of us, Joe, for your professionalism and for the way that you've been able to fill in and help the team in the positions when we've needed it. It definitely hasn't gone unnoticed with many of us fans, some of whom, myself included, Probably do owe you a bit of an apology as well, mate, from over the years. But thank you for your performances this season. McConnell, you got to love it, right? you got to love young McConnell today. That assist for Curtis Jones. And it wasn't just the assist today. He was brilliant all over the midfield. Poised, calm, assured, 
fantastic. Left footed cross into Curtis Jones. And what a pick out. You know, he put it on a sixpence. Jones still had a bit of work to do with the header, of course. But you got to say, McConnell has done his career a world of good and very deserving of all the praise that's going to come his way today. Um, I'm going to give him a score of 9 out of 10, which I think speaks volumes for how highly I regarded that performance from him. Well done, young man. And uh, we look forward to seeing if he has many more cameos between now and the end of the season. Ryan Gravenberg, delighted that he got his goal. You can see the celebration from him. Um, in our chat, he was getting, I don't want to say a little bit of grief, because that's maybe a little bit harsh, but he certainly, people were feeling like he was drifting in and out of the game. I thought he did okay today. Um, I do think he has a natural goal-scoring instinct, though. He's always in and around crosses. He's always looking to get on the end of something. And I love this little pump-the-air celebration, bit of fizz pump when he scored. It almost felt like a release from Ryan Grafenberg. So today, we're going to give Ryan a score of 7 out of 10. Now, Mr. Curtis Jones, a headed Jones goal. I mean, is that a collector's item? I don't know if he has scored another one or if he'll score many in his career, but uh, fair play to him for doing it. Love that he ran as well to McConnell to celebrate with him after the goal. And I think Curtis Jones, again, what else can I say other than you're calm, you're composed, you're relaxed when you see him in the starting 11 these days. His pressing is always on point. His energy levels are top notch. Um, Just, again, winning us over game by game and... Huge thank you to Curtis for his season and give him a score today of 7 out of 10. Let me know below if you agree or disagree with that one. Our boy Darwin Nunes, or Mr. Hunes, as I like to call him. What a finish. Send it forwards, calm, composed finish today. It came after great work from Conor Bradley on the right, but so happy for Darwin that he can keep this little run going now. It is, uh, it's turning into a productive end to the season for Darwin Nunes and I hope he continues this goal scoring run because he's certainly impacting games in a positive way with his work rate. Love to see him playing with a smile on his face and I'm going to give him a score today of 8 out of 10. Again, lovely finish from him. What more can the man do? Hit the post as well in the first half with a, a great strike from distance that had the Norwich keeper pedalling across to his left. Unlucky. But didn't let it get to him. Finished the game and got himself a goal. I should say finished with a goal at the end of the game is what I meant to say. Diogo. What words? There's no words left. Assassin, ninja, fox in the box, predator, whatever you want to use. Whatever words, they all matter. They all count and they're all right. What a volley. Left foot. Bang. Goal. Not an easy finish. Great ball over the top as well. The fourth and Norwich defender to backpedal. He tried to clear it with the header, but he only inadvertently steered it to the left-hand side of his penalty area where Diogo Jota ran onto it. Hit a first-time volley without taking a touch. Left foot. Past the Norwich keeper. Into the goal. He is a predator. A natural finisher and is doing himself no harm whatsoever. When we get a full team back, there has to be a shout for him to play for the middle, right? There has to be. For me, if you said right now, Salah right, Darwin left, shot in middle, that's probably where I'm going at the minute. And that's a huge compliment to Diogo. So we're going to give Diogo a score of 8 out of 10. Mr. Gakpo um, should have scored. Had a couple of occasions today where he probably fluffed his lines a little bit, particularly one in the first half. But I still like a lot of what he does. I just think I'm still struggling to figure out where he starts week in and week out if he does. But look, I'm happy to have him around. He's only going to continue to get better as, cause, as his career revolves. But today, giving him a score of seven because I feel like he should be leaving that game with at least one goal to his name. Andy Robertson. Good to have you back, Robbo. Good to have you back. Oh, felt good, didn't it? Just felt so nice to be able to say that again, that Robbo was back on the pitch. But... Full credit to Costas and Joe who filled in admirably until Robbo was back. But he is back now and I hope he's energised and ready to push on for the remainder of the campaign. Uh, biggest thing I can say today is I'm just happy he's on the pitch. And for that, I'm giving him a 7. Virgil van Dijk. So backed off the Norwich player, if my memory's right, and uh, almost tempted him to shoot for Norwich's second goal. But you kind of, I guess, juxtapose that with his header from I think Sabaslai's corner it was not an easy header so it was a very very well taken finish by Virgil van Dijk and uh, that probably balances out with what I feel was a bit of lackadaisical defending and not closing the player down but that being said going to give Virgil still a score of 7 out of 10 and um, what a man what a captain and hopefully he signs that new contract 
Moving on to Dominic Soboslai again. Great to have him back. You know, we've been inundated with questions over the last week or two asking about when he'll be back, when Trent and Rob will be back. Well, now we know all the answers. He's back. Uh, just getting quotes sent in to be here now from Andy Robertson as well about being back really quickly. He said, it was amazing. Uh, that's what I was waiting for. That reception I got will stay with me for a long time. That's what got me through the tough days. Klopp speaking about it. So I think the atmosphere today showed everything to me. It's wonderful. It's great. But we need an atmosphere on the pitch. Uh, for that, we need the crowd not to think about the manager. And look, everyone played their part today. Glad Robbo felt that way. Glad he got the reception. But Sobisly, it's great to have him back. He looked sharp to me when he came on. Uh, was looking for a goal as well. I'm going to give him a score of 8 out of 10. I was quite impressed with his cameo coming off the bench. Mr. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Mr. Mr. Liverpool at this point. And much like we've said about Verds, I hope Trent signs a new contract. I guess the question now is what does Klopp do? For now to the end of the season. With Trent. Does he immediately move him into midfield. And play Bradley in some games. Or does he stick with the hybrid role that we have. I think he probably will stick things out. With Trent. Maybe play Bradley in the FA Cup. But I feel like we're not going to shake things up too much. Great to see Trent back on the pitch today as well. Got to give him a score of 8 out of 10. Let me know below if you agree or disagree. He's just knowing he's on the pitch. And we have that ability to just spray passes from anywhere. Had a couple of strikes as well today. Uh, force the keeper into a save if my memory's right but just great to have Trent back as well just a real feel good factor after this game today because a load of players back on the pitch after injury Lucho uh, came off late or came excuse me on late in the game had a bit of a part to play in our fifth goal he did play the ball across from the left hand side to the right which Bradley then fired a, a volley come shot down into the ground to the far post where Gravenberg headed it in so Lucho, again, looked bright. has been really good midweek. One of our, if not the player of the game. So, yeah, keep going, Lucho. And add a few more goals to your name for the end of the season. And we'll all be very happy with that. So, Lucho gets a seven. And last, but by no means least, our manager. The countdown does begin. The long goodbye or the last dance, whatever you want to call it, is underway. And he got the reaction he wanted from the players today and from the fans. Got the victory. I'm sure it was a difficult game for everyone today. No more so than the manager. He personifies class. He personifies this football club and everything that we love about it. So I'm just going to say thank you again to Jurgen. Um, I'm not going to try to undermine him or second guess his thought processes or why he's leaving. Taking the man at his word. He said that he's going to be basically lacking in energy. I can understand that. I can certainly sympathize with it but again i just want to say thank you today i thought he was near perfect going to give him a score of nine out of ten but overall it's nothing but ten out of tens for jürgen and a massive thank you from all of us so that is the player ratings my friends i've had my say now it's over to you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section drop a like on the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button we aren't back live again tonight after the fan reaction show so i will see you guys tomorrow same time same place 4 p.m right here until then, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.